Hi, welcome to Module 6. I'm going to use Screencast-O-Matic to show you how to do each part of the assignment. Hopefully that'll help you. I know it's a little complex, but if you learn how to do this, it's going to help you whether you work as a study coordinator, a CRA, or a data manager. So let's talk about the assignment first. Um, you are going to be running some edit checks that we wrote for the mock protocol and specifically we're going to run checks 4 and checks 5. The edit checks are going to flag a weight that is less than 100 pounds and a pulse that is less than 60. You're going to verify the weight is valid. You're going to pretend that you're a study coordinator and you're just saying I know this is correct, no other response is needed. But for the query on the pulse, I'm going to have you actually act as if you're a data manager issuing a query, and then you're going to put on a study coordinator hat and pretend to respond to the query, and then finally you're going to close the query so it doesn't come up anymore on listings. Um, you need to have the record number of the mock patient that you entered in Module 5. If you've forgotten it, that's not a problem. Go back to the discussion post where you entered that number and you can pick it up. Also, a few things to note. Do not modify data for a patient you didn't enter. If you went in and entered additional patient data, feel free to go around and play with that, but don't modify the data that somebody else has entered. Also, once you execute a check, if you want to see the updated value, then you need to select Clear and then run the check again. And a reminder, we're only going to use checks 5 and 6, but as I said before, you're free to run any of the edit checks later that you want to. So let's go down here a little bit. I have the assignment broken down into four parts. This is assignment part one, and we are going to execute the data quality or edit checks. So the first thing that we're going to do is access the data quality application, and you do that by going down into REDCap and finding this little data quality uh, tag here, and we're going to click on data quality. And this is the screen we're going to be using for this assignment. Here we are finding issues, so essentially running the edit checks. This is what we're going to use to resolve issues. You're free to look at the metrics, but we're not using them for this assignment. And we're going to mouse down a little bit and find checks 5 and 6. So 5 is looking for a weight that is less than 100 pounds and 6 is looking for vital signs pulse less than 60. Both of these are outside the range that we expect. And I want you to see here we have a little execute button. So we're going to click execute and execute. This one takes a little bit longer. We're going to let it run. But you can see that it's picked up seven issues here. Okay, we're going to go back over to our instructions and you can see that by executing these checks and your number might look different because depending on when you enter the database it's going to flag everybody else's entries. Um, don't worry about that you just need to have at least one flagging up here so you should have at least the number one here if not contact me. You've completed part one of the assignment. If possible I would stay on the screen because we're going to use it to go into part two but if for some reason you have to leave REDCap or you lose your connection, it's not a big issue. Just come back and execute the checks again.